Hi, this is Kushbu. I tell you one thing. Like after your exam, somebody asks for your exam. So let's suppose your friend is asking you, who has scored 90 on 100 and you scored 45. So you can give a tricky answer that I scored 2 marks less than half of your marks. So then, so someone's maybe what I'm going to say. So this type of questions we are going to do here. So this is basically a word problem from exercise 3.3 of your NCRT book. It says, find the solution in the substitution method. After the first time, substitution method can use the solution method. The difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is 3 times the other. Two numbers go subtract to 26 and one number is 3 times the other. So, one number, the number is 3 times the other. So, let's suppose that one number is 1, then the number is 3, then the number is 2, then the number is 6. That means that there is one number. So, let's do it. 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 One number x. Now let's go under there. Smaller and larger number b y. So difference between two numbers. If the smaller number x is larger number y, then the difference will be y minus x. Larger number minus smaller number equal to b y. ये मालूम होगा first equation। फिर वो कह रहा है one number is बिल्कुल equation के according चलना है। one number is three times the other। एक number दूसरे का three times। तो हम इसको लिखेंगे one number is y is मतलब equal to three times the other। y equal to three। आप इसको x equal to three by नहीं लिख सकते। अगर आपने larger number को y लिया है, तो आप इसको यही लिखते हैं। अगर आप larger number को x लिखते तो आप लिखते x equal to three by लेकिन अभी जब हमने लार्जर नंबर को बाय किया है तो हम इसको ये नहीं लिख सकते। रीजन हमारा लार्जर नंबर इसके थ्री टाइम्स के इक्वल है। अगर मेरा ये वाला नंबर वन हुआ तो ये नंबर थ्री के इक्वल आएगा। अगर ये नंबर वन होता है तो बाय का वैल्यू आता है थ्री। अगर ये नंबर टू होता है तो बाय का वैल्यू our first equation will be y is equal to 3x. This is our second equation. This value we will just substitute this method. So this is 3x minus x equal to 26. So 2x is equal to 26. x is equal to 26 or 2. Cancel over our time by pass x is equal to 30. This is our first value. Now we will put this value in the second equation. So let's suppose that we have just a second equation that we have put in. So y is equal to 3 into 30. X ka value we have put in. So y is equal to 30 into 30 by 39. So two numbers we have put in. 39 and 30. If you have put the cross check, you can check the difference of two numbers. Y is 39 and x is 30. So if you have put 39 minus 30, so you will get 26. That means answer is correct. So you have to know if it is required and you have to know if it is not to verify the figures. So this was question number 3rd, first part of exercise 3.3. At the end we have to book our question. So in case you have any doubts, please do write to us and do subscribe us. And please do watch the next video for some more questions. Goodbye.